You're live. <clears throat> okay. So today we're going to talk about sonar and the system of communication between um, dolphins and whales, echolocation is part of it. Um, this I came up with my friend that was on the other day. It's on Patreon, our conversation. We're going to do another one, but we're we talking about um, we are whales. So the whole like the concept is that we're we, we being like the collective like good people that are here. We are whales building sonar, building sonar to find your resolve, especially while in life. Um, so if you look up just sonar and what sonar is, it's the system of communication that is, oh, it's very interesting. There's clicks involved. And my friend Chris told me a story about a woman who was blind. She was without sight and she regained her vision by learning sonar and the clicks and, um, Hi, Angela. What time is it? Wait, hold up. Not that way. What time is it over there? Um, so as like conscious people, like I thought it was very interesting for that talk that's on Patreon, the Survivor talk from the other day. It's a live stream. Oh my God, it's distracting me. It's a live stream. Um, there was like three things that she asked that were super rare. And I think there were like 17 or 18 people in the chat at that time. And everyone had like the rare things, like the memory thing, the blood type thing, the, um, I forget what the other thing was. But I was like, she, I don't know what a honey pot thing is. She told me about, like, she mentioned honey pot. And I was like, what's that? And what I can kind of understand it from what I extrapolated from a little research and, like, from what she sort of alluded to is that honey pot or honey potting is, like, getting, especially, like, I don't know if it's just women or if it's people, but getting um, women together and like, cause I even asked her, I was like, you know, if it's rare for this thing, that thing, this thing, it's another reason I made it unlisted. If those things are rare, why would it be good to have it like us all publicly known on, um, fucking Google, YouTube, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, so understanding the sonar of a whale, well, um, dolphins use it. And there's one other animal bats, I think use echolocation. Um, the sound of the earth, this is on my Patreon too. The sound of the earth sounds like a whale. It's so interesting. I'm going to play it for you. Yay. Sorry, I got a PayPal. That's always a really great thing. Transfer, thank you. Score. Okay. Um, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so check this out. It's on my Patreon. Earth sings like a whale. The sound of Earth song presented by science at NASA. Thank you. 12.45 p.m. Friday. No one can hear you 4.45 Nobody ever said LA. anything about singing, though. PM Thursday. A NASA spacecraft has just beamed back a beautiful song sung by our Can you hear it, Angela? It's called Chorus. When I shut up. Explains Craig Kletzing of the University of Iowa. This is one of the clearest examples we've ever heard. Chorus is an electromagnetic phenomenon caused by plasma waves in Earth's radiation belts. 
for years, ham radio operators on Earth have been listening to them from afar. Now, NASA's twin radiation belt storm probes are traveling through the region of space where Chorus actually comes from. And the recordings are out of this world. This is what the radiation belts would sound like to a human being if we had radio antennas for ears, says Klutzing, whose team at the University of Iowa built the Emphasis, electric and magnetic field instruments meet an integrated science receiver used to pick up the signals. Is it better? He's careful to point out that these are not acoustic waves of the kind that travel through the air of our planet. This is made of radio waves that oscillate better? at acoustic frequencies between 0 and 10 kilohertz. The long antennas of the radiation belt storm probes are perfect for detecting these kinds of waves. Chorus emissions are front and center for the storm probe mission, says Klutzing. They are thought to be one of the most important waves for energizing the electrons that make up the outer radiation belt. In particular, Chorus might be responsible for so-called killer electrons, high-energy particles that can endanger both satellites and cool. astronauts. Most electrons in the radiation belts are harmless, sure with too there's... little energy to do damage to human or electronic systems. But sometimes, these electrons catch a Chorus wave, like a surfer riding a wave on Earth and gain enough energy to become dangerous. The radiation belt storm probes are on a mission to find out for sure. The production of killer electrons is a matter of much debate, and chorus waves are only one possibility, notes storm probes mission scientist Dave Sybeck. Launched in August 2012, the two probes are orbiting inside the radiation belts, sampling electromagnetic fields, counting the number of energetic particles, and listening to plasma waves of many frequencies. We hope to gather enough data to solve the mystery once and for all, says Cybeck. At the moment, the spacecraft are still undergoing their 60-day checkout phase before the main mission begins. So far, things are checking out very well. Yeah, yeah. One of the things we noticed right away is how clear the chorus sounds in the recording notes, Klutzing. That's because our data is sampled at 16 bits, the same as a CD which has not been done before in the radiation belts. This makes the data very high quality and shows that our instrument is very, very healthy. Eventually, Klutzing hopes to release unprecedented stereo recordings of Earth's chorus. We have two spacecraft with two receivers, he says, so a stereo recording is possible. Such a recording would not only sound wonderful, but also have real scientific value. One of the things we don't know is how broad the region is over which chorus occurs. The widely separated stereo capability of the storm probes will give us the ability to figure this out, he explains. With a two-year mission planned for the storm probes, the Earth song is just the shoulders started. hurt. For more weird and wonderful sounds from Hi, space, Sam. stay tuned to science. Oh, fuck you! I thought you were going to give me another one. I'm sorry about that. And I want to apologize to my arms. I love you. So the earth sounds like um, very similar to the sonar, the clicking noises and the sonar echolocation sounds from dolphins and from whales. What's up, uh, Sam Parsons? Oh, do you know about the stereo recordings of this? Sorry, I just got bummed out because I was holding that up thinking they were going to give us another um, another thing. I, it all started because I sent and I, I reckon everyone, <clears throat> one of my favorite people on this planet is named Sally Hawkins. And you've probably seen her in movies. She bought this song for me. And I remember this was in like 2000, my dad was in the hospital already. 2000, maybe 15, 16, we're working together. Uh, Leah Scallon. Is it called Love Song? Hold on. It's Leah Scallon. And she bought it for me, but she had like a UK Apple ID or some shit. And we were, uh, she was coming to my studio in LA. And I was like, 
it was like so fucked up they wouldn't let me have the song and she's like you have to have it as real humpback whales Um, Leah Scallon, hold on, sent it to my friend the other day, and she goes, oh, that's so funny, the earth actually sounds like whales too, it's called Star Song, so silly, Star Song, which I'm going to like play a little of, but you guys know how the copyright stuff goes. Let me see if I can find one of the humpback whale parts. Hold on. I used to play this like in for Shavasana. It's a nice meditation song. Hold on, let me find the humpback whale. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Humpback whale sound free. Okay. So my friend did, I said this already. If you're just getting here, my friend heard you guys might have heard of this a woman was blind and learned sonar like the clicking and healed her blindness that's not a great recording probably why it's free incredible whale songs let's see oh That is incredible. That was four times, though, for his three. Angela, now that we're listening, doesn't it sound like that earth sound? I was like, this is weird. But that's exactly what that recording sounded like too, right? I mean, just like this. I'm actually trying to understand him. I'm like wondering if he's in distress. That's the clicking. It's used for radar echolocation.
You know what pissed me off though is I was doing some research. They developed like sonar systems for like fishing and stuff, like to find fish, I guess. So they'll use technology that's extrapolated from what whales do naturally to find fish. And I feel like I've seen like in people's boats, like I've seen like I've been deep sea fishing and stuff and I've seen like that equipment like that must fucking really throw off the fucking whales. People piss me off. Hey, Angela, did you hear anything? Like, probably not. I mean, these are underwater sounds. They must have been amazing. Did they jump out of the water and stuff? You don't understand. Dolphins and whales are very important. People don't understand about this. But we understand, and we are above water whales creating sonar. That's what we're doing. Monterey Bay, that's in California. I'm almost 99% sure. See, he sounds happier. The other ones I worry they weren't happy. Like symphony almost. A violin or something. This comes from a fucking whale. Let me make sure. Humpback whale song from Monterey Bay. I was like, make, make sure it's not a violin like dedicated to a whale. We have to start being beyond language. That's important too. I love you guys so much. I have to. Um, uh, last year in March, we went whale watching in Kalkara, New Zealand. So funny, Wolfie's like, what? They let you whale watching under the lockdown? Waters or not? Yeah, how did you do it? Um, I'm just kidding. Um, it was freaking amazing. I bet. Um, mm -hmm. What's up, Dark Morning Radio? I commented on your video lately because you have me in your video and you didn't respond back. It's not a Star Trek movie. It's um, The Sound of Humpback Whales. Angela, they sure did. Oh, you could hear it? Like, oh, yeah. I know those are like underwater sounds, but um, that's so cool. Was it like a family of them? New Zealand, I feel like besides being morally like corrupt in terms of your government, that's just my opinion. And also I'll just say I'm a crazy bitch and it's conjecture. Um, it's so pristine there, right? I bet the water is like super beautiful and like the ocean is super beautiful. Yeah, they kind of did weird stuff in New Zealand. It's like you guys are totally locked down, like not locked down. New Zealand's always been so, um, I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like, um, I don't know, more than Australia, just very separate, not very like politically involved in anything ever. Um, 
but Australia, I mean, like it was all eyes on Australia with all this, this um, cunt 19 stuff. Not to be a biased, but New Zealand is really majestic. <laughs> like you could ever sound like biased. I'm just happy you're still enjoying yourself living there um, with the way that everything panned out with cunt 19. I like cunt 19. I'm watching a show, by the way, that's really nice. It's on um, my friend's Netflix account that I borrow. Uh, it's with Ricky Gervais, Life After Death. And it's just been cracking me up. I always want to share shows with you guys that make me laugh because I think laughter is so important. It's so funny. And if you've ever lost somebody important to you, it's like especially funny. Like <laughs> it's like a sex worker in it. <laughs> he like becomes friends with this sex worker and he like hooks up the sex worker with this post office guy who like has picnic picnics in front of his house. It's really funny. It's like a mix between like the British version of The Office and um, like just something different. It's good. Uh, just logging on. Hi, what's up, Painted? We were listening to, so we're talking about uh, manifesting us all. The whole point of us being whales, above water whales and, man and manifesting a sonar system is to build a sonar to build sonar to find our own resolve. Um, these are my friend's words, which I think are perfect. Build sonar to find your resolve epically well in life. Build sonar to find your resolve epically well in life. Epically well, not just well. Um, so understanding. Uh, the basis of it is understanding where to go in the unknown, no matter what, just knowing. I want to do another video about synthesizing Stort Wild, but a couple of things I remember and sort of resonate are when other people run, walk. Um, what else did he say? You guys remember? What else did he say? Pop quiz. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm finding male humpback whale perform the mysterious song. Okay, so I guess it might sound like distress to me, but maybe it's not. Probably their mate, <clears throat> their mating song is quite passionate. It's winter in Mozambique. Oh, shut up. Watch me get copywritten for that. I'm under hump. Look, I wrote bump back whale. Bump back whale sound free. No wonder. Hump back whale. What's a bump back whale? Oh, that was weird. It was cute and then it was very weird. So I'm just going to skip it. It was like this really cute beluga whale. And then it was like beluga whale that sounds like a humpback and looks human. I was like, no, I'm not into that. Okay. <laughs> it was like a story or something. I don't want bullshit. I just want the noise of a fucking whale. Okay, that's it. No, it's not. That is not good at all. We're going to go back to incredible whale songs because those were incredible. We're just going to skip. I was actually trying to figure out what they were saying. It's like, rrr, 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 to that long one. Three. So he goes one, two, one, two, four, 
four to his two. Oh, there's one. One to two. Three. Unless it's the same dude or female. The earth sounds like this. I'm going to play the earth again. I don't know what that sounds like to them nudging. Maybe that's just what I want them to do. So I put this on my Patreon. My friend sent this to me because I sent her the Leah Scallon song. And she's like, well, that's funny. Guess what the earth sounds like? The earth sings like a whale. It's called the something. The Sound of Earth Song presented by Science at NASA. In space, they say, no one can hear you scream. Nobody ever said anything about Music singing, though. A NASA spacecraft has just beamed back a beautiful song, sung by our own planet. It's called Chorus, explains Craig Kletzing of the University of Iowa. This is one of the clearest examples we've ever heard. Chorus is an electromagnetic phenomenon caused by plasma waves in Earth's radiation belt. For years, ham radio operators right, right. have been right, right. listening to them from afar. Now, NASA's twin radiation belt storm probes are traveling through the region of space where Chorus actually comes from. And the recordings are out of this world. This is what the radiation belts would sound like to a human being if we had radio antennas for ears, says Klutzing, whose team at the University of Iowa built the emphasis electric and magnetic field instrument suite and integrated science receiver used to pick up the signal. That's our whale. Right? What, 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 what? You're only missing the long one. He's careful to point out that these are not acoustic waves of the kind that travel through the air of our planet. Chorus is made of radio waves that oscillate at acoustic frequencies between 0 and 10 kilohertz. The long antennas of the radiation belt storm probes are And that's on my Patreon. Let's think about being whales above water, and we're creating a sonar system for each other so we can guide each other and help each other through whatever is going to be or is unknown. A seed to be planted. Later on, we're going to be synthesizing Stuart Wilde. I love you more. Bye.